Chinese freighter ran aground off the Jeb Island Sound. When the U.S. Coast Guard went to evacuate the crew, they discovered 36 illegal aliens stowed on board. Until the State Department can determine the legal status of the refugees, the 18 men, 12 women, and 6 children will be housed in various state buildings, including the Oswald Correctional Facility. Leo, this is insane. The state's got 40 other prisons. Put these men somewhere else. I got a call from the Secretary of State. The Secretary of State asked for help. I'm not inclined to argue. What, are you looking for an appointment in the new administration? Don't be snarky. My question is, where are we going to house them? We're on the brink of overcrowding as it is. Well, since this is a temporary situation, I thought we might set up some cots in the common room of Emerald City. No way. I have only just reestablished some order in there. You're not going to upset the apple cart. This isn't a matter for discussion. We have an emergency, and everyone, including you, will bend. You mean bend over? Tim. These men and their families fled repression in China, paying a sizable amount of money to book passage on this boat. And from what I read in the papers, the conditions were worse than slave ships. They sailed for months. They crashed. They got arrested. They're separated from their wives and their children. So if we must have them, let's at least embrace them. Warden, this is Gal Luzau from the State Department. Miss Gal, it's a pleasure. Thank you. We have the men in a bus outside. Okay, well, let's get them to uh, receiving a discharge. Okay. Hi, uh, Tim McManus. They'll be staying in my unit, so uh, anything I can do to make them more comfortable, you just let me know. Excellent. Do any of them speak English? I, I do. Good, then I'm going to be relying on you to help keep communication going. I'm at your service. Thank you. All right, you all need to follow Officer Armstrong. <laughs> This is America, Gongji. Speak English. Never volunteer. We are in danger of being sent back to China. I will do everything I can to prove that I belong here. So, uh, are you staying in town tonight? Yes. Doing anything for dinner? Are you asking me out on a date? Oh, no, no, but we both got to eat. There's a little diner I know, very informal, where we could grab a quick bite. It's nothing fancy. Your grandfather is right. These are bad men. 